So what is the best mid tower case in 2018? Well that is a question that needs more time than the 5 seconds that we got for this intro. Don't worry guys, I got you covered. Today we're gonna take a look at the Corsair's Crystal 460X. Is it any good? Is it worth it? And could it be the best mid tower of 2018? Yes, it could. And I'm gonna tell you why. Alright, coming up. Welcome back my friends, Robin here on Chips Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming. On this channel you'll find PC components, tech gadgets and console accessories as well as product reviews. If you're interested in that, consider subscribing. In this video we are gonna take a look at the, in my opinion, the best mid tower case in 2018. That being said, let's get started. Let's jump on the question right off the bat. In order for a case to become a candidate of the best case in 2018, it needs to be good well in fact it needs to be great it needs to be awesome all right the competition is so high right now in this day and age all right so this case is priced at 139 us dollars which puts it right about in the middle somewhere and it's actually 40 dollars more than what you would have to pay for the 400c who shares the same frame as the uh, yeah 460x there are however as you probably already can tell a few difference between these two but the 40 extra dollar extra you have to pay makes sense and justify the increase for example you get the three included sp120 rgb fans more on those later so we got a tempered glass side panel in 2018 we've seen that plenty of times come on robin there's nothing new about that right some of the benefits of having temple glass is that you can see glorious components illuminates through the glass which which is nice if you ask me but yeah but there's really nothing special about this at all not not in this day and age what corsair have done with the crystal series let you say they went all in on glass we not only got the side panel in temple glass we got the front as well and i do think I think the Corsair 110% nailed the uh, look and the aesthetic here. The triple fan front gives the 460 a very futuristic look, if you ask me. I don't know why guys, but I like it. Alright, now on the top front left hand side, you got the lightning controls which basically lets you control the lightning in a bunch of different ways. Now at first glance, I thought this case was fitted with a fan control, but this is all just for the illumination, there's no built in fan control at all so if you decide to buy this case you're gonna want to connect the included fans to your motherboard so that you can control them through something called direct current which leads me to uh, the other con which are the included fans now there's nothing wrong in including fans don't get me wrong here guys whoever the sp series is pretty noisy now they move quite a lot of air but for the sacrifice of noise now these fans doesn't have a full Fourth pin to let the motherboard set the fan curve which gives you no other option than steering the fans through the DC voltage which is a very limited way of controlling the fan curve and RPM. Of course uh, you could have solved this by adding a simple PWM operated fan hub which would have added an extra cost of course but something I would have been more than happy to pay for. Right now it is quite noisy and there's not a whole lot that you can do about it other than either adding a fan hub yourself or let's say invest in Corsair's premium fans the HD series well, that's about it now holding the tampered side panel in place are a total of four thumb screws now because the way these screws are made you gotta be careful taking these screws out since once they're loose there's just a small frame holding the glass from falling to the floor now the front panel uses a similar type of thumb screw as the sides there are four in total and once you get rid of these you get a hold of the nice front dust filter now behind the grill we find the fans here you can install a 360 radiator or dual 140 rads right now whoever we're looking at a triple one 20 millimeter fan setup and this is what it looks like right out of the box but, but something to have in mind guys there's no exhaust fan in the back which you're gonna wanna add 
if you want to give the air a push out of the case as well. We also got a magnet dust filter on the top with offset mountings for radiators up to a single 360 and a dual 140 but because of the frame not being high enough only going to open up for small and thin radiators in the top. This also requires you to have low profile memory modules for it to fit with most systems out there. Now I like how Corsair thought this through with placing and mounting but unfortunately because the frame is not being high enough it kills the idea of placing a thick radiator in the top since it won't be able to fit still you can place a couple of fans here and uh, yeah a thin radiator so uh, you know what I'm still smiling now talking about the frame most of the case are made out of metal though it is a thin metal I tried to flex the side panel and I even did a comparison with the fractal design define R4 and the difference is quite big. I guess a benefit of thinner metal makes the case less heavy, which could be beneficial if you travel a lot. Wink, wink. Now the cutout on the back of the motherboard fitted us perfectly, lets you change the CPU cooler without the need of taking the motherboard out, which is nice because I'm lazy. And I mean, what can you do about it? Also, speaking of dust filters, there's one covering the power supply units on the back of the case minimizing the chances of getting dust into the power supply unit which we obviously doesn't want. Now in order to be able to fit bigger radiators in the front there's not a whole lot of space. On the back there's a couple of thumb screws which lets you get rid of one of these two covers where the first one covers the 3.5 hard drive bay. Now to sum it all up guys I think Corsa has done a brilliant job here all in all. There are a few things they could have done better. Now while I do understand why they included the case with their cheaper RGB fans from their SP series the fans aren't PWM operated so in my opinion they should at least include a fan hub because right now it gets quite noisy and there's not a whole lot you can do about it that being said however they move a ton of air and thanks to the open case design gives you a ventilated case which is nice so as you can hear it's a trade-off I just wish that they gave the user better control I mean what's the point of having fans run in 49 RPM in idle, <laughs> right? Now, I might sound a little harsh now, but it's something I hope they fix in the future. But I mean, apart from that, it's a heck of a nice case. It looks very cool in my opinion. And it looks even more awesome once you get all your components in there as well. I like the front being totally open. What is there to say? I'm sold. Now with an asking price of around 130 US dollars, it feels justified considering the three included 120mm RGB fans, two side panels made of tempered glass, great build and expandability, kudos for the easy cable management and cable routing as well. All in all, it makes it a good candidate of being one of the best mid-tower cases of 2018. By the way guys, Corsair also sells a case called Crystal 570X, which has all panel tampered glass. If just two panels aren't enough for you, I just wanted to make that clear for you guys if you want something even more spacious. All right, now, question. What do you say guys, tempered glass or noise dampening? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Now on this channel I cover a variety of gaming related peripherals, tech console and PC components such as headsets, headphones, mics, monitors and so on. Recently I listed the bed budget gaming mice as well as the best mechanical gaming keyboards link to those videos can be found down below with that said who am i to talk about this well first off i've been a gamer since i can't remember i'm a tech savvy and i worked in the gaming peripheral scene in the past i also built and overclock computers for 12 years and i've been a content creator for three now there's a ton of videos just around the corner for you guys if you're looking for the best budget monitor headset keyboard headphones mouse button more consider subscribing also don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads on my end thank you so much for watching this video my name is robin here on chips media until next time guys have an awesome day all right bye